Hi, Joe with Jay Alexander Roofing. I'm here today performing a video inspection of the roof. I'm also going to take measurement for purpose of estimate. All right, I've been up here. I walked around. We just spoke on the ground. You definitely got a ventilation issue everywhere you look on this roof. Hopefully, my phone's going to illustrate it. But even if it's not illustrating that well, you can surely just walk around your yard and just see how distorted and how wavy. There's shingling, shingles buckling everywhere. That's all an underlayment issue. That's not a product issue on top. Um, I would almost venture to say. Whoever put this roof on the last time probably should have done the due diligence more and either properly ventilated this old this old deck to make sure no more problems occur or there should have been some some decking replaced during the last roof. There, I mean there's there's a huge dip right there, it's hard to see on my phone. And this side, I, you know, I don't even have to show it to you because you guys know it's here, we just talked about it. But this roof's just extremely distorted in places. So as I'm walking around here every once in a while, or if I really put my weight into it. I can hear a crack in, in, in the wood, so it, it's a sign, telltale sign to me. We've got really poor ventilation. There you go, there's a lot of crack, and we're going to have to fix it. So a lot of this decking is probably going to need to be replaced, and we need to rectify your ventilation big time. Um, I like to cut it in, single over e-vent, vent out all the hips, and then go back, go back with this ridge vent again. The power vent's counterproductive to... Uh, to venting out the rest of it because what the power vent will end up doing is just pulling fresh air from the ridge vent right beside it and you won't get the full circulation that you want and i like to do it naturally anyway just so we don't have to rely on a motor that will burn up before the roof will need to place over here we need to install a uh a cricket or a diversion saddle behind it um right now it's rule of thumb in the roofing industry anything under 20 inches you want a, a, di a diversion saddle behind it right now um this is just prone to have ice water whatever sitting right behind it and if there's nowhere to, for it to go, it's going to sit on that pan, rust it out, and eventually leak. So now I'm just going to start measuring you up. Um, I'll measure everything up, and then hopefully we, we can meet up and go over everything. You know, the warranties, the products, the system, all that kind of stuff uh, once I get my numbers put together. Joe with Jay Alexander Roofing. This should pretty much do it. Thanks.